Thank you, Chair. Friends World Committee for Consultation, Quakers, welcome the opportunity to join this thematic discussion with the support of Ch Child Rights Connect Working Group on Children of Incarcerated Parents. We want to highlight the importance of addressing the needs and protecting the rights of this group of children in crime prevention policy and practice. The Kyoto Declaration calls for the rights of children to be protected and for consideration to be given to the particular situations of vulnerability. Many aspects of the particular situation of children with parents in prison have been acknowledged within the UN system, in documents emanating from previous crime congresses, including the Bangkok Rules and the Nelson Mandela Rules, in an increasing body of guidance from the Committee on the Rights of the Child, and most recently in the UN Global Study on Children Deprived of Their Liberty, which stated, in all matters related to criminal proceedings involving primary caregivers of young children, it is essential to ensure recognition of the affected children as rights holders. And yet, as evidenced by the global study, this is still too often not the case. In a recent project with children and youth with incarcerated parents from five countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, the participants concluded that, although the recommendations from the Com Committee on the Rights of the Child are great and still relevant, most of them are not known or followed by governments. They requested that all professionals that come into contact with them, from police officers that arrest their parents to their teachers, understand their situation better and know how to support them. We hope that discussions like this and the momentum on the implementation of the Kyoto Declaration can help move forward into a new phase of engagement to protect the rights of children with a parent in prison. We believe that a global toolkit on children with parents in prison is needed to support national level policymakers and practitioners to implement the existing standards to protect these children's rights. There are many examples of good practice to mitigate the harm that parental incarceration can do, often supported by civil society actors, including members of the Child Rights Connect Working Group. Development of a global toolkit would bring together these good practices and other guidance for practical application to enable all states to better address the needs and protect the rights of children with parents in prison as part of their crime prevention activities. We encourage all states who are interested to demonstrate commitment to the rights of this group of children through funding the development of a global toolkit and through leadership in its implementation. Thank you very much.